test culture. Materials, especially from up in Harlem, glass, couches, rugs, 
there were people throwing away. I was considering it as a raw material that it would cost me. A little scholar said to me once, stay on the wall, because I'm a painter, or I can get off the wall, because why not? So I started to play with the idea of, again, permission. Who gives me permission? It alone, on myself. I enjoyed sculptures. I enjoyed the three dimensional. I enjoyed design. And I started asking myself questions like, in my absence, what would my work say about? And without knowing it, I started to like play with this idea of making these feathers work as a texture. I have this philosophy that uh, in these pieces here, which are based on the individual, because each string is important. And then collectively, they become society, which is like how we are as people. Um, the importance of the, the group, and the importance of the single. Um, you can look at this piece as you can with feathers as a multitude of individuals. You can look at it as one. And the same thing. Um, I um, also like the idea of the, con the contradictions in terms of having a lot made for one. Like you see the piece behind you. Like someone said to uh, Ed Clark, how do you know when it's done? And he said, well, because I have experience. <laughs> the, the paint is applied, and then the feathers are put on, and then they're built like a cake. And that's sort of like my feminine side, and I like to make things <laughs> in the book. And so I put them on, and pat them on, and let them dry, and let them and then they set up, and I work them again. And until I can feel that it's not going to go anywhere, I think of myself as a mixed media artist, and I gave myself that permission to be not just a painter. These are actually uh, inner tubes that I cut down, and these are monoprints. These pieces are actually, I spray them and I use them to stamp. So this, 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 this title is called Yes I Can, No You Can, I Give Permission. The pieces were spray painted and then pressed onto the wall. And when you take the piece off, you see the images on the wall, which is the, no, you can't. As you know, when you're children, you're not supposed to draw on walls. So that was one of the concepts, to draw on the wall, which is, no, you can't also take it home. And then the yes, you can would be the drawing that is in the frame, which is what you actually acquire and where you're supposed to put the marks. So the idea of yes, you can, and you can't, and the permission concept was part of this. These discovered here in this piece of discovery. So this, for me, showing work is part of the learning curve. And being in a new space also provides me with challenges on how to resolve the issues that I have. Traveling also gives you a lot of permission in terms of like making yourself aware. Denial is pretty big, right? When someone tells you no, you go, uh oh man, you know, that ain't happening. You can't tell me no, I can only tell myself. So I got into denial and, and rejection and permission and who I am and how I'm. I'm also in, in, interested in monumentality and I had read this whole, these things with Robert Longo, he's talking about monumentality and the new monuments. And I wanted to do paintings that were monument, monumental. And so taking on the size of scale and questioning what is a monument and what is the purpose of a monument, that's why I did these large scale pieces. So that they can be bigger than you, bigger than me, and you can walk into them and stuff like um, The travel, I wear glasses, so I have a lot of peripheral uh, interest. So when you walk by things, that's the work, it's the travel, it's the travel time. It's going up and down, not just Renaissance forward and backwards. So you get to see things from the side, because that's how I look at life. I'm not always going straight on. I'm, I'm taking it from other angles. I'm not that smart that I did all this, you know, pretend, but that's, that's how I get my, my, my insights, traveling, moving, and walking around. All right, give me a break and watch the show. <laughs>